Welcome back folks. Right, hello again. Um, welcome back to my channel. And here I am. As you've seen, uh, hacked into the woods, uh, my local woods. Um, not actually been in this area before, but just thought I'd give it a try. Looks pretty cool. A lot of hazel around here. So um, we save coppice in uh, some of that. Obviously shoots back really quick hazel. And uh, very good wood, flexible, and dries pretty solid as well. As you can see, I've uh, made like a little windbreaker out of it. Uh, I'll take you for a close look in a minute. So yeah, good to be back out. Uh, get good weather today. Um, tomorrow and Sunday really bad, is, which is why I've got, out, got myself out today. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Like I say, if you've um, if you do enjoy watching my channel, give us a uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. Muchly appreciated if you do. So I'll tell you a little funny story that happened on the way in. Firstly, um, I sent the drone up didn't realize how windy it was above the woodland and <laughs> basically the drone uh, the drone disappeared so I spent a good hour I actually had to jog about 1.2 mile away um, to find it because I had the app on my phone saying find my drone so that worked really well tried and tested now but I won't be doing it again that's for sure um, yes yeah, so I've gone for the hammock today with the top set up as best as I can across the A-frame, uh, two tripods with the ridge pole, and um, I've made some pegs, which I'm sure you've seen, and they're working pretty well too. So I'll take you for a closer look at this little beauty. That's just weaved out of hazel. Over there, you can see that's all hazel, really dense. So I've copied some of that and just utilised it best I can. I can't take around this side. I didn't get the tarp as taut as I wanted, mainly because of this tree here, being in the way of my last peg. So this side stayed a, a bit saggy, um, but as you can see in there, there's the hammock, plenty of room. I've actually put some boughs off of the um, spruce trees along there, just where they were, basically where there was um, slightly sharp bits on the uh, ridge pole, just to stop it. I know these tops are pretty tough and they the anti-rip, but always uh, good to be safe. Rather safe than sorry. So yeah, I've got about an hour's... It's now 20 past four, so I've got about an hour's daylight left. So I'm gonna get my um, wood process ready for the fire and then I'll start cooking my dinner. I think getting a bit hungry now. But yeah, here we are again doing what we love, so um, I'll catch you later.
back again well as you can see on the camera it's um, getting a bit dark now I just managed to get um, all my wood processed and make this um, it's kind of a spit but not a spit it's just just for hanging the uh, billy pot off I managed to get all that sorted just before the uh, darkness sets in it is 23 minutes past five so bang on time for sunset um, but yeah what I'm gonna do now is I'll cook up my sausage uh, casserole as you saw me doing earlier and I'll probably check back in later before bedtime sink a few beers and uh, that's as good as it gets tonight I'm afraid but yeah it's been a good day Managed to fit quite a lot in to say I didn't get out till um, gone one o'clock. And then obviously they're messing about with the drone. Probably lost an hour there. So yeah, I'm happy with, I'm happy with the progress anyway. So I'll enjoy my night and I hope you enjoy yours. Catch you later. Evening. Right. That dinner was lovely. I'm sure you saw it. Um, about two hours forty-five, it was cooking, and it was gone in about a minute. Yeah, it would be really nice that way. It was like a mix between a sausage casserole and a sausage stew. Something like that. I'm a big fan of stew, so nice slow cook on the fire, and it was delicious. Right, so as you can see, I'm all in my hammock. There, what I was talking about earlier. So I just put some soft boughs on the ridge pole just to stop anything puncturing the uh, top. Working a treat. Um, sleeping bag tonight. I've switched up for the Van Gogh Night Star, it's called. Uh, this is actually my three season bag, but um, the last video I did on in the Peak District up Kinderscart, Mermaid's Pool, really struggled with that uh, four season bag. <laughs> Um, not not good at all from uh, OAX. I can't remember the name of it. Is it OAX Phantom? Something like that. Um, anyway, no good. So now it's in my head that that one ain't going to keep me warm. So I've switched back to this uh, trusty three season Van Gogh Nightstar. Mm -hmm. And I know it works because I had it last winter and I was absolutely fine. And to be honest, I'm very warm now. Uh, so that's the reason for that anyway. Um, I'm going to sleep with this over me tonight. Reason being, a lot, and I mean a lot, of spiders in this uh, woodland. And I don't like spiders. So that's the reason for that. So anyway, it's about, I think it's about half past eight, nine o'clock, so I'm going to call it tonight, get my head down, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night.
morning guys. Uh, let me just sort this out. That's better. Right. Really good night. Um, it's about 7.30 I believe. And tiny little bit of rain last night, nothing major though, could hear it on the top, but all in all a good, uh, a good sleep for once. Good old hammock, uh, a lot of spiders in there with me last night but oh well, I'll get over it. Uh, like I said, I, I slept with a bug net, I just wrapped it around my body because I couldn't be bothered to zip it up. Yeah, good one, good one. So, not even cold this morning either. Wasn't bad last night at all. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I was gonna get a coffee on, but I've, um, I forgot to bring my jet boiler. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to wait till I get home for that one. Uh, I got, I'm not stoking a fire up now just for a cup of coffee because it's, uh, it's pointless really. So I'll get packed up and I'll um, get myself off on my merry way I think. So this will probably be the last time I, uh, last time I chat to you on this one. Um, thanks for watching and if you enjoy watching my videos give us a subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube and you'll get uh, a video at least a video a week so we're still going strong with one video a week uh, sometimes might be more just depends what I'm uh, doing with work really I've been really busy with work but yeah it's a nice little spot I found nice and quiet um, yeah I've really enjoyed this one uh, like I said before the hazel wood that surrounds me usually wouldn't cut live trees down but hazel's a really fast uh, recovering tree so obviously we copy some at the right points and they'll just shoot straight back so not doing any harm there hazel you can actually I've done it before where I've coppiced it and weaved it on a fence at my, my home um, and it's actually sprouted back out of the, the ones that were cut down so imagine the hazel going that way it's actually sprouted back up off of the coppice piece so amazing amazing tree uh, really flexible and good to work with and uh, so many uses it's unbelievable as you can see I made the little wind deflector just to help out a little bit with the top last night um, and yeah it worked a treat so Anyway, I'll say bye, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.
back again. As you've seen, I've uh, packed everything away and I want to say leave no trace. But in this instance, obviously as you can see, let me show you. In this instance, I'm going to leave that there. Obviously I'd only be breaking it up anyway and throwing it all around the area. So, but what I'm thinking is, I've tilted it down and I've put it on like a V stick. There, look. It's not going anywhere. Solid. And what that can act as really is, obviously there's nothing on it, there's no string on it, I've took all that off, no cordage. So that can act as like a little den for any wildlife or anything like that. So yeah, I've just made sure there's no cordage or anything like that. And let me just show you while I'm on for the last time. So when I turned up yesterday, I was down there somewhere right in the distance trying to find some uh, straightish logs and I came across one and it had all this cordage on it. You can see the yellow stuff and the black stuff. <coughs> so I did chop that off. Um, let's get you straight. So yeah, I did chop that off. Um, and I will be taking it out with me, but I shouldn't be doing that. Um, obviously, it's you shouldn't shouldn't be leaving anything like that, anything that's going to cause any danger to any animals or uh, anything, fox, rabbit, bird, anything could get themselves tangled up in that and, and it's game over for them. So I'll take it with me, um, even though I shouldn't be doing, um, but it's just kind of a bit of conduct. And what we do so so yeah I'll take that with me um, and dispose of it um, and that, that's about it really so yeah this time I will go and uh, I'll do a little I'll do a little video going out for you and uh, I will catch you on the next one this time thanks for watching bye bye